we're here on the second and we're going to talk about something that's very very important to you and should be very very important um, your future growth of your business or personally and professionally um, going forward I had a partner uh, Daniel Shandra she was awesome and good friend we we were friends for a very long time before that and still are to this day she ended up purchasing the business I had originally started in Pennsylvania and uh, she's really built the thing up very, very nicely. And she's taken over different sections of the building that, you know, she's added on to over time to make it um, really something spectacular, which is awesome. And I have to get back down there to take a look at it at some point in time. She used to talk about the support system. She was at the time a single mother that had two children. One is a teenager. Now she's a full grown adult. Um, I think she even might have a child on the way. I'm not sure. And she's uh, married and the whole nine yards. But remember her when she was kind of little and isn't she has another one too as well and she had this great support staff she would talk often about i couldn't do this with the business i couldn't do this with my work schedule unless i had a great support staff i didn't have people around me that were really going to help me achieve my goals and what i want to do um i couldn't do it there's been no way that i would have a possibility of time with everything i have else going on in life that i have time for this and she would often talk about that. And, and that got me thinking about a subject that I think is very, very important. What's your community or your support system around you like? You know, my wife will kick me in the butt and say, you know, you got to get this done. You got to get that done. She's She can be brutal at times, but brutal in a good way. And she will push it to say, this has got to get done. This has got to get done. Now, she would not work in the business, but she knows when I'm working on a project. She also knows when I'm probably procrastinating, which is not often, but it happens. I do procrastinate. I'm human. And I'm a guy, so we do tend to procrastinate a lot more than probably we should. Um, but the sense of community that you have around are the people that are influencing you in your life to help you achieve your goals, which in turn may help them achieve their goals. That's the ultimate potential. Um, and I had a guest on a while back, Howard Partridge, and I just saw him at the experience last week. And he gave a great presentation. In fact, a couple great presentations. I wish I could have stuck around for the last day, but we were on our, our path of driving back from Charleston, South Carolina, and it was a long ride. And he was really a person that talked about the sense of community when he was a guest on our podcast and the importance of having people around you that can mentor you and help you grow and be a good influence. You know, they often say you're a combination of all of the people that hang out with you, your friends, your community, your family members and the influence that they have on you and what helps you do better in life or possibly do worse in life. What helps you move yourself forward? What sense of community do you have around you that helps you achieve the goals you have in life? Achieve the goals you're looking for. Achieve the goals that, that are part of your dreams, your long-term vision for your business and for your life for that matter. What are some of the things that are really helping you achieve and build and grow? You have people in your life right now that are helping you, that are there, that have your back, that will always have your back, for good or for bad, you know, as the divorce, better or worse, as they say in, in marriage. But that's real in life, too. That's really a part of your core values of your life. You want to get somewhere. If you're anything like I am or a lot of people around me are, we're very focus-driven, and it's hard to be focus driven for most of us. I know it is for me. I know it is for many of my friends and colleagues. To be focus driven is hard. But if you have people around you that are helping you keep your eye on the prize and be focused, then you got to win there. There's no question about it. In particular, this podcast. And I often tell you the story how I started out and did very well and did, got the uh, new and noteworthy going with Apple in the very beginning and I just stopped. Well, that's because I had people around me that did believe in me. But I didn't have everybody really giving me that convincing, um, you know, punch in the gut, so to speak, to say, dude, stick with it. Keep it at it. We like it. A lot of people like it. They're talking about it. So now it's like a passion. When it becomes a passion in your life, then you can't see anything outside of doing it. Now, that, that could be, be interpreted to a certain degree as a blinder, but it's really not a bad blinder. If you have passion for what you're doing, you're going to do it well. There's nothing wrong with doing something well, ever. Unless you're doing a criminal activity, maybe, then that's not a positive thing. But if you keep working at it, even criminals, not that I want to use this as a great example, but even a criminal gets very good at their craft or being a criminal or being a crook or being a robber or being whatever they are um, by continuing to do it and having people around them that are that part of their support staff. Again, not a great example, but it is an example. Think about the people around you that are giving you the greatest impact. 
what people around you are influencing you? Do you have coaches, mentors, husbands, wives, family members, friends, all the people around you that help influence and build the person you are today? Who are those people? Identify them. Figure out exactly how they are helping you achieve your goals. Think about how they are helping you achieve your dream, your vision. Think about what their impact is on you as helping you get to where you need to go. I promise you, you have people around you, even if you can't originally identify them, that are helping you. And it might be a different thing. One person might be very good at telling you, hey, uh, you need to make sure you do Sunday morning minutes every week. Now, today I was crazy busy, but I will not skip my Sunday morning minutes. I skipped it for once because we were driving, and I didn't want to make it a, a crazy show with a you know, I like to do it with high quality and the studio gear that I have. So I want to make sure I could do it every single Sunday. If I skip the Sunday, then that gives me the option to skip next Sunday or the Sunday after that. I don't want to skip the Sunday. I started and made a commitment to do this. My wife said to me earlier on today, did you do your recording for Sunday? You know, I mean, it's expected because it's part of it. Now, usually I do it in the morning. It's why it's called Sunday morning minutes. But inevitably, if I get it out on Sunday, as I plan to, when I plan all the rest of my week, then I'm doing what I agreed to do, and I'm following on to my commitments. And somebody around me in my community is saying, hey, did you do this? Did you forget about it? You know you got to do it, right? Think about that. Identify who they are, what kind of impact they're having to you, and how they're helping you get where you need to be. All right, guys, thank you so much. Welcome to May. Hope your weather and your life is going good. Right now at the Jersey Shore, it starts getting really, really nice for the next several months, and we can't wait. Walked the beach today a little bit, took the dog out, got some great pictures. I'll try to post them on the on the site, and uh, it's, uh, it's a beautiful thing. So, guys, please be safe and have a blessed week. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.